For a Christian person, there is nobody in the Bible more important than Jesus. He is the one described in the Gospels, his teachings are heard at a mass and religion classes. We pray to him in the morning and in the evening, we sing songs about him, we beg him for forgiveness at confession. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. It took place in a stable because at that time there were so many people in the town that there were no other place to stay. While in a manger Jesus was greeted by both great kings and poor shepherds, because Jesus loves the poor and the rich equally. Soon after giving birth to Jesus, Mary and Joseph had to escape with him from a wicked king herd who wanted to kill the boy. When the king died, the family returned to Nazareth where they led a peaceful and humble life. When Jesus was twelve years old he went missing at the celebrations of Passover and his parents could not find him. Only later it turned out that the boy was sitting in a temple and teaching about God, at the same time surprising everyone with his wisdom. Jesus was baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist, remember that at the time children were not baptized but adults were. After the baptizing Jesus began to teach and perform miracles. Jesus' teachings were very simple, he often taught with the use of short stories. He always repeated that you should be a good person, love other people, believe in God, do not look down on others. That is why Jesus especially liked children, he used them as an example of simple, honest, deep, and innocent faith. Jesus performed a lot of miracles, at the same time proving he truly is the Son of God. He walked on water, he fed a few thousand of people with only five loaves of bread which he multiplied. He healed a lot of people suffering from different diseases, including leprosy. He restored sight to the blind and an ability to walk to the paralyzed. He could even revive the dead, for example a little girl whose father came to Jesus begging him for help. But there were also people who did not like the Jesus teachings. Those people loved money and they weren't interested in the fate of the poor and sick. They led to Christ's crucifixion. Even on the cross where he was suffering, Jesus never maligned to anybody. Many people were mourning after his death, but it didn't last long, on the third day Mary Magdalene went to the Jesus tomb. The tombs looked differently than now, they were caves with the entrance covered with a huge rock. Mary Magdalene found out that the stone is removed and the cave is empty. Soon after that Jesus appeared to her and explained that he had resurrected so his disciples did not have to mourn anymore. Jesus appeared to his disciples a few more times and then they were looking on as he ascended into heaven. We call this moment the Ascension. Each and every Christian person should know the story of Jesus and be able to recognize him in the paintings and sculptures, but the most important they should follow Jesus' teachings, love your neighbor, be a good man, help people, don't be angry, and believe in God. In his left hand Jesus is holding a red pennant, that is a kind of flag that symbolizes Jesus' resurrection and salvation of all people. With his right hand he is making a blessing gesture, with the three fingers up referring to the Holy Trinity. Now you know what objects Jesus has and with what gesture he blesses so try to find paintings and sculptures resembling him in the church. Good luck.